Hey, well, I'm a retired broadcast engineer from KCBS and KCAL TV in Los Angeles. Uh, as Art's getting this uh, ready to go, uh, the um, part about ATN is going to show some of the repeater sites, uh, the coverage maps, and uh, a little bit about the system. Yeah, all of our repeaters use a digital input on 434 megahertz, 2 megahertz bandwidth. We still are backwards compatible in that we still have the analog 434.0 uh, input, uh, 2441.5 FM input, and then our outputs with the exception of Oat Mountain, which is 919.25, uh, all the rest of our repeaters in Arizona, Nevada, and California run 1200 megahertz outputs, which would be the standard five frequencies you'd see in the ARRL band plan of 1241.25, 1253.25, 1265.25, 1277.25, and 1289.25. Okay, so what is Amateur TV Network? We're a network of uh, ATV repeaters, and we do have chapters all across the country. We have one in Pitcairn Island and also one in uh, Tasmania. This will be a presentation of the Link repeaters in Arizona, Southern California, and Nevada. Uh, this is a picture of Mount Wilson. This is when we had the big fire that was burning up. And um, the location near the middle, you can see a big bright light over there. That's where I was at uh, the KCAL building uh, with the fire hoses out. Here's a location of uh, some of our repeaters. And as I mentioned, the input frequencies on the top. And in this case, this is Santiago Peak. We also have a microwave output at 5910 using FM. So for those of you with the new ICOM uh, 905s, you can pick us up on 5910. And then you have the coverage map in the upper right-hand corner, which covers most of the Los Angeles, Orange County, and San Diego areas. There's a closer uh, view of the coverage map and a view of the uh, shack up on uh, uh, San Diego Peak. Another view, uh, the amplifier in the middle with the meter, that's the 5910 25 watt amp. We got a 400 watt PA on 1253.25, which we will be going to digital soon. Uh, this is just a side view in those cans over there is a, for a 220 uh, command and control repeater. Uh, this is Oak Mountain, which covers more to the west, San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, in parts of Ventura County, and this is the one that has the 919 output. It also has a microwave output at 3380. There's the coverage map for Oat. Eight foot link dish back to Santiago Peak. A view from the tower, there's the blue stick is the 919 transmit antenna. And then a view to the right's looking back up at the tower. And uh, another view of the tower. Uh, and then there's me standing up next to the equipment rack at Oat. Another close-up view. Uh, Snow Peak, this is a site that's just slightly less than 8,000 feet. Same input system that everybody else is using. And uh, this one we are using 4 megahertz bandwidth because we're having to pr protect uh, ANSR4 radar at San Clemente Island well over 100 miles from the repeater. Uh, but their radar is up at around 1247, 3 megs bandwidth. With, when we ran the 6 megs, the top uh, 5, 600 kilohertz, our signal landed on them, so we reduced to 4 megahertz. We don't bother them. Everybody's happy. Uh, there's a picture of the antenna farm. The blue stick is the 434, and then to the left of that's the white stick for uh, 1242. Then we got a tower camera and then a uh, 24 uh, or 2.4 gigahertz receive antenna. And then he had fires a few years ago that was up at uh, uh, Snow Peak and our camera up there was providing this to the fire department. And those aren't uh, house lights, that's individual fires all over the hills. Here's the coverage for Snow Peak. It also covers down into the Palm Springs. And we have an interesting uh, propagation because the Salton Sea is 200 feet below sea level and in the middle of the path gives us an extended range of about 30, 40 miles further than you would have under northern cur curvatures. Uh, here's the Mount Wilson frequencies and uh, same basic setup and the coverage map for Mount Wilson. That's also where most of the TV stations are at. 
There's a coverage map for that site. Uh, Job's Peak, this is where the pictures, that's, I don't have all those towers at my house, but the one to the right is the view looking north into the desert from the mountains from my tower. Uh, Close-up view, and that's my coverage map from my place. Another view of the map. Then we have a, a repeater in Santa Barbara. It's on the side of the hill. That's why the coverage is just down towards the ocean. And that's a 10-foot link dish with the 124-mile path back to Santiago Peak, skirting a Calabasas Peak is four feet blocking the path, but we run enough power to blast right through it. Let's see. There's a picture inside with the uh, racks. There's a view looking down over Santa Barbara. Uh, this is a link site up at Ord Mountain. This is when we we're uh, constructing a 45-foot tower, and that provides a microwave link to Mount Potosi for Las Vegas. That ties to my house and my house back to Santiago. And there I am up putting a Eight-foot dish in for five gigahertz back to my house, and then the grid dish to the right is uh, 1265 received from Potosi and transmit 2417 to Potosi. There's the picture of the site looking up at the tower. Uh, this is uh, Arizona. This is a, kind of a zoomed-in shot from uh, White Tank, and that's uh, Camelback Mountain. You've probably heard of that if you've ever gone to Phoenix. There's its frequencies, the same receiver lineup, which makes it nice for the repeater users. They just use their equipment. They can go to any site, and their gear works. There's their coverage map for Phoenix. Uh, this is Mount Lemon. Uh, we're getting into a different site uh, building up there, but there's the coverage for the Tucson, Arizona area. There's their coverage map. covers about half of the state. There's the tower, some of the gear. That's a link dish that we had up. We were getting ready to put up. And this is kind of a link map, the green line showing uh, Santiago Peak to my house, to Ord, to uh, Potosi. And that's the end of that show. So, uh, Art, if you want to get the other thing I'll, about uh, the island, I'll uh, ask questions. Say, say again? Uh, whiskey Alpha 6 Sierra Victor Tango at gmail.com or WA6SVT at gmail. I do have some handouts that has some information too if any come see me. Mike? Yes? Do you happen to have that on a, uh, a website we can log into? The yeah, there's uh, www.atn-tv.com. Should have that if you look under membership. Uh, and the membership application, you can look down for Southern California, all my contact information's there. And then this is a real short little th uh, thing. Uh, last summer, or I should back up, a couple winters ago, we had eight feet of snow at Mount Wilson. I got trapped up there for 16 days, so then I went into time and a half after my shift. 24-7, <laughs> ka-ching, ka-ching, so. Paid off a couple credit cards, paid down my wife's car. Where are we going to go on vacation? We haven't been any place special since 2010, so we decided to go to Tahiti. Talked to my friend Morella, VP6MW. She says, come visit us out there. So I said, hey, you want to go to a really wild place and do something even more exciting than just Tahiti by itself? And she goes, sure. So we went there. So this is uh, Pitcairn Island. And I found out they didn't have a TV station, but they were getting ready to set one up, but ran out. They had the four and a half meter satellite dish. They, they got it in, installed it themselves, but didn't know how to hook the gear up, had no transmitter. And I said, well, I'm a broadcast engineer. I'll come out and give you a hand. And I donated my time. I modified an ATV amplifier to work a little higher in the band with a different power module. And that's the same stuff we use for digital ham TV. So channel 25, station ZB, uh, uh, ZB uh, TV uh, was born on uh, Pitcairn Island. Uh, close up, and this is a panel antenna I rebuilt. And there's a VSWR 1.03 to 1. Um, pictured here with uh, Jay Warren, and uh, here's a panel antenna at Ship's Landing Point. There's a spectrum picture, uh, an area 8 megahertz bandwidth for using the New Zealand standard since they bought their TVs in New Zealand. We just adopted that standard. Uh, a little closer view. 
And this is the USGS, which is an American government radio that's in a vault up at Pitt Caron Island. And uh, the top two feet of the rack were available, so we put the TV station there. A little closer view. Uh, output power is about eight, eight and a half watts. I backed it off. The amplifier is capable of 10, but I'm not there to keep it going, so run it conservative. Uh, this is the thank you letter from the mayor of Pitcairn Island for the TV service, and we got permission to use ABC Australia's Pacific Island feed, so they're pretty happy about that, and it unclogs. They're not having to, to download as much uh, Netflix videos, so now they can send their emails. And since then, now they got the, the Starlink system. Uh, yep, that's it. Any uh, questions? Yes. It's who you know. Uh, some of the some of those some of those tower spaces are my towers. The one at my house, the one at uh, Ord Mountain, Mount Wilson is where I worked. Uh, was my employer was great, uh, gracious enough to allow us on the tower. Uh, Santiago Peak, we've been there since '83, and back when it was the, a mom and pop owner, uh, we did a lot of work for him, uh, tower work and stuff like that. Now that it's a one of the major uh, tower uh, corporations owns, as they do a lot of them. Uh, we've been grandfathered in. Again, we're, we do work there. I mean, we've keep the ba building painted, replaced drywall when uh, they got a roof leak and says, hey, don't, don't spend thousands of dollars. We'll take care of it. Can we pay you? No. <laughs> so stuff like that. So when you, you get a reputation, sometimes magic things happen. Any other questions? Yes. No, they, they, he, Tom O'Hara retired uh, several years ago. His website should still be up in case there's people with questions on the older equipment. Any other questions? Yes, Bill. What happens if you sell your house on uh, the Oregon Mountain plane? Well, interesting thing. The real estate agent has told me that having, because I would lease space, I'm a commercial site leaser. They said the house is worth about $60,000 more at that radio site there because it brings in hundreds of dollars a month and make the house more attractive. So I will work out a deal as long as the buyer wants that. And I can't think of any buyer who would not want seven or $800 a month coming in on radio site rental to say, get that stuff out of here. Part of the deal is I'll be available for consulting, but I want to keep ATV stuff there. Anyway. IP video stream. <laughs> Any last questions? Because I know we're out of time. All right. Feel free to come to the ATV booth. And uh, also, thank you. Uh, for those of you who've gone to Pit Car or would love to go to Pit Caron Island but thought you had to pay eighteen or twenty thousand dollars for D expedition, uh, they do have homestays there. They are ham friendly. I do have some handouts if you're interested so you, the average Joe can go and operate and get a VP6 call uh, and have your own pileup, which I enjoyed last summer. So uh, see me afterwards.